Socialism. Communism. Okay, socialism is really scary. I mean, socialism has killed hundreds of millions of people throughout history, right? I mean, yeah. And in this country, I mean, socialism is not going to happen. This is not going to be a socialist country, right? Yeah. Well, it depends on what you mean by socialism. I mean, Medicare, you like Medicare, right? Yeah. Get your government hands off my Medicare. Oh, but isn't that a socialist program? Uh, get out of here. Wait, it's a single payer system where you could go to any doctor and the government pays. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I like it. Okay. But socialism never works, right? Right. Okay, so China just lifted 20 million people out of poverty. What is it, 20 million? Nah, I think it's half a billion in 20 years. Their wages have gone up 25 times. Their science, their infrastructure, they've just built roads, more miles of roads than any country in a few years. Their science is now uh, going ahead of the United States. Their electric vehicles produce more than all the rest of the countries combined. Hey, check this one out. Um, science, technology, uh, economics, their GDP is going up. Their treasuries are actually being used, their debts around the world alongside U.S. treasuries. They're going to Africa, and they're helping the people of Africa. You know, the ones with the low IQs that people say, race realists, that they have low IQs. China's going there to raise those IQs and to get people more better nourishment and to get them jobs. They're speaking Chinese. They used to be speaking English, and they are, but they're also learning Chinese. So this kind of idea that socialism doesn't work is very interesting because we're going over there and we're getting the Beers diamonds and we're getting the ivory trade. The Chinese are going over there and helping them to build bridges in their own area. And you're saying socialism doesn't work. Okay. So in Canada, people get, you know, uh, they can just walk in and, and get medicine. So if Let's say um, Ron Paul's son, Rand Paul, goes to Canada to get an operation. Why? I mean, it's socialism there. So it's a socialist system. It sucks, right? Why does, why does Donald Trump tell the Australian PM that, you know, your uh, Medicare for all program is actually better than what we have in this country? That's what? You don't want Medicare for all. That's socialism. You like Medicare. Medicare is great. Medicare for all is terrible. Oh, wait, but, okay, so you want vouchers for kids, public school. Yeah, I want vouchers. Vouchers are cool, it's competition, schools compete. Wait, isn't that a single-payer system that the government pays the school with the voucher? Yeah, but in schooling, I am okay with a single-payer system. Why? Don't you just want a private school system that, if you have no money, can't get educated? No, I want an educated population. Okay, but you don't want a healthy population. No, I do, but they just got to work for it. Okay, so wait a second. So Sweden, in Sweden, child mortality is way lower than the United States. How is that? Well, we're just, you know, we got other things. It's child mortality for children, right? How is it lower? They have paid paternity leave, maternity leave. They have, uh, if there's a complication, the procedure costs like very little at the, you know, to the consumer. They have tax-supported single-payer health care. That's socialism. Yeah. So it doesn't work, right? No. Okay. So it works here in this country. Yeah. Be okay. Give me examples of how socialism doesn't work in this country. Well, I saw this Dennis Prager uh, episode where Dennis Prager talked about the VA and how many people died, okay, while waiting. Anecdotes of, like, people dying while waiting for the VA and they never got their, uh, their operation. Really? But, okay, wait, so isn't that an example of actually the system failing? Yeah, socialism, it fails. The VA fails, you see. Ah, uh, wait, 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 hold on. So these people could have gone to a doctor in the regular system and paid out of pocket, but they had no money, and so they just died. So basically, their only hope was the VA. Yeah, so our system failed them also, the private system. No, our private system is great. Okay, okay. So, uh, so the, all the kids on, you know, ADHD over medicated right now with methamphetamines like Adderall or Ritalin, that's cool, yeah. 
no, that's not really cool. That's a lot of ADHD. But in Finland, they don't have so much ADHD. And their kids only go to school for a few hours. Where I, our kids go to school and they're there all the time because the daycare center, while well, both parents have to work in a corporation to make enough money to pay the rent. Yeah, isn't that great? We, we just work a lot. We work a lot. We're the greatest. That Cadillac commercial that we went to the moon and we left the keys up there because we're Americans. That's who we don't take August off. Okay, cool, cool. So, um, so we send our kids to the schools and they're over medicated because they're told to sit down and shut up and learn. So they one day can learn and to work in a corporation. And we tell women that they have to lean in and work corporate hours and work more hours like the men so that both parents can then work and the kids can be in the schools. Yeah, okay, it's a great system. Um, and they tried a four hour work week. It was exactly the same productivity as a five hour work week recently in several jobs. Yeah, but that's, you know, yeah, you don't like to work. You're a socialist. Okay. Okay. So uh, I get that. Socialism doesn't work. I mean, look at Venezuela. Um, fine. But Donald Trump, I mean, he was saying that we should have health care. Everybody should be covered and we'll make more money on the other side. Right. I guess he meant people were going to be healthier, have preventative checkups and contribute more to the economy and be more productive. Yeah. But that was when Donald Trump was a libtard. OK, so now now he's seen the light. He's seen the light of we have to work a lot and have no safety nets. Okay, so if we have no safety nets, we're not gonna take many chances, right? We're not going to start our own business or go to school to learn something new. We're gonna keep trying to stay at our job even as the wages go down and the real wages go down and our work hours are cut and there's no job security anymore and no pensions. And we do that because our family needs to put food on the table. Otherwise, we might have to divorce and the state might take care of the kids. Yeah, state socialism. Yeah, but I kind of like that state socialism because work, work, work is important. Okay, I see. So the adults, so the kids are medicated. What about the adults? There's an opioid epidemic right now, 2017, the most suicides in this country. Used to make fun of the USSR. People used to like have, uh, you know, drink themselves in vodka to drown the hate, as Billy Joel said, right? Hate the state, drown the hate, get the vodka. What's with these opioids? Didn't everybody grow up here? The drugs are not cool. Don't do drugs. Nancy Reagan's whole thing. Okay. So what's happening? Yeah, they're irresponsible. So personal responsibility is not there. Okay. Okay, fine. So what about the middle-aged women there? One in three of them are taking antidepressants. This is the most over-medicated, depressed country. It has more depression than the countries where they have six months of darkness and no sunlight. There they naturally have less vitamin D and they get depression and suicides. Why are we having that here? Well, uh, you know, I mean, we have the greatest system. People are just, you know, they're li liberal people and they just don't understand. Okay, fine, 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 fine. So let me ask you this. If we give people money that they can spend and then they won't be able to live paycheck, but they won't have this feeling of living paycheck to paycheck. What do you think of that? Well, I think people don't want to have a handout. I think the American people in their heart uh, don't want to be given anything. Oh, that's cool. What's your name? Hi, I'm Ivanka Trump. I've been given a lot of things since I was born. My dad got a $1 million loan from his dad and also $70 million underwritten by his dad. And then he did a bunch of bankruptcies, but he got bailed out by the system of banks. And I could get bank loans anytime. And I can fail several times until... Finally, they bail me out, and then finally I succeed, and I count that success, and I parlay it to everything I have. So you have safety nets for your – you could take risks and fail. Yep, it's cool. So, okay, and you credit a lot of that and the entrepreneurial country uh, culture of this country and the fact that there's limited liability and corporations, and you could start a corporation, you could try mm -hmm. some. Yeah, it's real good capitalism. Cool. So can – uh, the other people in this country also have safety nets, you know, maybe like go to school and not worry about what happens next if they lose their job or if uh, they have a medical emergency or if they need to pay their rent. No, that's moochers. I pay my fair share. I pay my taxes every time I do sales taxes. I pay on sales whenever I trickle down my money. Yeah, but 
what do the other people do? Don't they also spend their money? Yeah. So they do pay sales tax too. Yeah. They pay rent. Yeah. So they pay rent. And where does it go? To the landlord and he pays property taxes and he factors that into their rent. So indirectly, even the illegal immigrants are paying taxes into this country. Yeah. Okay. But they're, you know, they're taking our jobs. They're lazy and they're taking our jobs at the same time. So are we like lazier than them? No, we're the best. We're Americans. Okay. So socialism, it doesn't work. So basically all the stuff, the safety nets, that's socialism. Yeah. Well, what do you call when the government nationalizes like the auto industry? What's that? That's socialism too. So there's no, what, is there a difference between maybe socialism and social democracy? Nah, it's pretty much all the same stuff. Well, hold on. In socialism, the government collectivizes and takes over entire industries. In social democracy, you let capitalism operate, you tax uh, and redistribute the money towards the safety nets and universal health insurance and stuff like that. Yeah, okay. So one is more capitalist, but it's still socialism. And socialism never works. So China raised a bunch of people out of poverty more than ever in the last 20 years. And they kind of centrally planned a lot of the stuff. Yeah, but central planning never works and it's terrible. Okay, look at all those ghost cities that they overproduced. Yeah, but in this country, don't we have a lot of properties that are just sitting there being speculated on while the investor or landlord just waits for a good offer? 11% of all properties? Yeah, but look at those ghost cities, though. Actually, a lot of those ghost cities have been filled since you reported on them. Yeah, but socialism doesn't work. Socialism never worked. But wait, even the USSR GDP, if you actually look at the graph of when it started and when it came in there and the communists gave everybody, like, increased the literacy to 95% and brought in electricity and built the universities and then people went to the universities. Yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, so what happened there? Uh, well, actually, the GDP rose faster than in the United States over the time when the USSR existed. Yeah, that's true, but they had gulags. Okay, I see your point. Gulag is uh, was a terrible system. It's actually called gulag. Okay, so it's a terrible system, and there was a lot of killing and a lot of death. Yes. So can we have the social democracy, though, how much death has there been in Denmark? How much death has there been in uh, Sweden, Finland? Their great schools, their better childbirth. Yeah, but you just wait. They're gonna devolve into socialism like Venezuela. They're gonna get. They're gonna be eating cats. You'll see. Yeah, but they're getting much lower prices for uh, for medicine. Yeah, but they're not getting enough for it. We're the best. Wait, how are you the best? They're getting. Their child mortality is lower than yours. Their life expectancy is higher than yours. They have more doctors per capita. Doctors are, what? Not more doc? No, doctors are going to leave. If, if you take over and you, my wife had a thousand years of medical school. If you tell her how much she's going to spend, she's going to leave. Really, then how are you getting more doctors per capita? I don't know. It must be fake news. Okay, more hospital beds per capita. Yeah, but we've got the best hospital beds. Yeah, but only one person can go in that one. Yeah, I see your point. I mean, sometimes I want to do medical tourism to other countries. I like the fact that I can actually get affordable uh, treatment. But you know what? This country doesn't have rationing and death panels, okay? In this country, everyone has access. You could do whatever you want. There they have to wait. Wait, so, but in this country, if you don't have enough money, you wait an infinite amount of time and you can't ever get it. Yeah, but that is more, uh, you know, it's more moral because you it's the money, man. You can't steal from others. I see. It's more moral than someone with a bigger wallet comes in and this guy needs to save his life. But this guy has a bigger wallet and he just wants to do cosmetic surgery. So just do that guy, right? Put more doctors in that guy. It's less moral to address the guy with the emergency and the need with the same resource, prioritize that guy. Yeah. So that's why this country is the greatest country because people are working paycheck to paycheck, barely able to survive. 
and one in three households is one paycheck away from homelessness. And, you know, what is it? 80% of all Americans have been near poverty at some point in their lives. Yeah. But you know what? That just shows their upward mobility, man. They were near poverty and now look at them. Many of them are not near poverty anymore. Yeah, but we're talking about one in three households has crushing debt and one paycheck away from homelessness. And they're over-medicated and their kids are over-medicated and their parents are over-medicated and they're committing suicides. Uh, you just want to take away your guns, man. Did you know that one half of all deaths are suicides? Man, they did it to themselves, completely voluntary. Lay off our guns, stop talking about other countries, the entire world, they are socialists. This country has the best system. If you don't like it, go somewhere else. I'm going to be here with my guns and my drugs. And if I want to kill myself, that is my, my freaking idea. Okay? So leave me alone, man. Wait, but I live in this country too. Nah. You're just trying to destroy this country. You're not trying to make it better. You don't want people to be happier like they are in Denmark. Denmark, they're getting free stuff. Free stuff. Do you understand? One day... They're going to eat cats. One day, they're going to have gulags. But wait, isn't in this country, we have the most incarceration? We have like 25% of, like, of all prisoners in the world? Listen, man, you sound like you hate this country, okay? You hate the people here. You hate our system. Leave. Just, no, I want to help us. I'm an American. I want to help. I want Americans to live better. Get out, man. You're going to destroy this country. You're going to destroy with your crazy ideas like the rest of the world. Canada, okay? I don't care about Canada. I, look, maybe Canada, Sweden, Finland, Germany, France, the UK, and Australia are doing well. I mean, you know, fine. That's, you know, eventually they're going to all end up like Venezuela. And you know where they're going to come to? To us. We're going to be the only country that has the good health care. We're going to be the only country that can actually afford the rent. We're going to be the only country that actually has, I don't know, just good education. Everyone's educated. The rest, they're just going to be eating the cats, man. And that is why socialism doesn't work. And that's why it cannot come to this country. Because socialism kills people. And it never helps anybody.